I recently went to San Francisco with my two friends both named Sarah for Sarah Kate's birthday. We decided to drive there and make the trip up part of our adventure. Our long journey started in Los Angeles at 4 in the morning. We took the scenic route on our way up there and made a few stops. We found this spooky abandoned house that had no windows and no doors. It had no way in or out. After stopping at this place and getting back on the road, we suddenly had a fly problem in the car. Along the way, we also found a shop with cute fruit displays and a giant artichoke because the town Castroville is the artichoke capital of the world. We stopped for snacks at an 85 degrees cafe. I love this bakery chain. I was so happy to check out a new one. All in all, it took us 9 or 10 hours to get there. We checked into our Airbnb in Oakland and then went over to explore downtown San Francisco. We had lots of fun, including looking at Tsum Tsums and taking the elevator to the top of random buildings and dancing in their hallways. You know, grown-up stuff. It's day two of our trip and it's been sort of a failure so far. We got up kind of late and we're rushing and had to get ready in the car, but we made it. We're at the Japanese garden in, I was gonna say, Tokyo. Tokyo, I we're wish! Not, we're not in Tokyo, we're in San Francisco at the Japanese Garden and it's beautiful and now it's time to get zen and relax and enjoy the day. After a crazy start that morning, we had lots of fun exploring the Japanese tea garden. It was a lot bigger than I expected with lots of beautiful plants and ponds as well as pretty structures, including this really extreme bridge which we successfully climbed and conquered. We stopped and had tea and sweets which were really good. I don't usually like green tea, but this one was very sweet and yummy. And then we headed in to check out Japantown. We have arrived in Japantown, San Francisco, and we're gonna go to the baby, the Starshine Bright store! I'm decked out in all my baby. I've never been to Japantown, so I'm so excited! Let's go see! Of course, the first place we had to look into was New People which is the building that Baby the Star Shine Bright is in, and I was very excited to be there. We're going in to New People, which is a bunch of different stores, not just Baby the Star Shine Bright, there's even a cafe too, and Rilakkuma, which I didn't know, so I'm kind of freaking out. She's freaking out, guys. <laughs> The first store we went in was Maruk, which reminded me a lot of Japan LA. They had Omocat and other artists' work, and Rilakkumas, and they also had Gyaru clothes, like Liz Lisa. We also found a random side room for parties that we probably weren't supposed to go in, but we did, and we danced. My, how we danced. While we were looking around, Sarah Jean's friend Dina met up with us. And we made new friends with Jeannie and Esther. And then we all went to Baby. And I accidentally got this super sneaky footage. I walked up to the floor and sort of stumbled into it. I couldn't document anymore since they have a strict no photos policy inside. After looking around Baby the Star Shine Bright, we went down to the first floor to have lunch at the cafe inside New People. We explored more of Japantown, including Daiso and other shops. We came across this random shop that, uh, had Lolita dresses, but they were sort of Ida. It turns out San Francisco's Japantown is going to be torn down. I still don't understand how much of it or why, but we visited an area to show support and love for the community. When we were done in Japantown, I frantically changed in a nearby bathroom into an angelic pretty court and we made our way to Kearney Street to visit Angelic Pretty. I couldn't document inside, but I did take these stealth selfies, or rather, stealthies. I got some chocolate wrist cuffs for my Musée de Chocolate cord, and Sarah Jean got a unicorn necklace. I want to mention that the staff there was incredibly nice and talkative and friendly. We had such a fun time there. Later on that night, we made another friend named Jacob, who seemed to know everyone in San Francisco, knew a lot of great places to eat, and wore overalls. He was a really cool dude with lots of fun stories. We all went to this beautiful museum that was closed and hung out with the sculptures. 
On the third day of our trip, we checked out of our Airbnb in Oakland and I documented it a bit better. The way Airbnb works is people let you rent a room in their house and it's cheaper than a hotel and it's fun because you get to feel like a local. Then we went to Muir Woods dressed in Mori K to live out the forest girl lifestyle. It was beautiful. We went back into San Francisco and checked into our Airbnb there. Then we went out on the town to continue to celebrate Sarah Kate's birthday. Woo! We had dessert at a cool place called Toy Boat, which I think is classified as a dessert bar, which is exactly my kind of bar. There were toys all over the walls, and it was great. I loved it. The desserts were delicious. On our last day, we went to Tartines before making our long trip back home. We're driving back home, and I fell asleep. And I woke up and I don't really know where we are. Uh, I couldn't find a location on my phone. Uh, look at the, the hills of uh, nothing. Their gas station had the most variety of candy I've ever seen at a gas station anywhere. So much that I had to spend $12 in candy. Show us what you got. Haul let's, video! Let's Haul video! Haul video! I already had a water bottle from the Airbnb, so I didn't have to get that, so I can still be healthy. Nerds rope! Here's it in action. If you've never had Nerds Rope, it's really good. Chips Ahoy soft cookies filled with brownie. What? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Inception. Yeah! Yeah! Blue Mountain Dew. There was there was a whole rainbow of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Look, Sarah is shocked. <laughs> Why are there so many colors of snacks at this gas station? This is the best gas station! Yeah, this is the best gas station. I wish I knew where we were. Barrage, also, the real. attendant was a really cute girl. Yeah! Yeah. Does she even live? Who is I, I don't know. Who is she? <laughs> I want to know who she is too. I want to know if she has a tumbler and I want to follow it. <laughs> <laughs> I got this Starburst Fave Reds. They had so many flavors of Starburst so many flavors. that I've never heard of before. <laughs> I got this okay, huge Leonard. 7-Up because I like 7-Up. Wait, I also got another Starburst. So many. <laughs> Which I forgot about already. It's bright from yesterday. Look at Sarah Jean's Sprite for me. Oh, this is your Sprite. Sprite. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> raisins and Sprite everywhere. Lord's been here. I, I really like raisins and clear sodas. So. <laughs> if we feel disgusting after eating all this candy, because I'm going to share with my friends because I can't eat all of it, because I'll probably get really sick, I got some Orbit Spearmint Gum so we can feel not disgusting. <laughs> So the sun is on my side of the car and it was making me really warm so I've been slowly taking off all my clothes and making a blanket like cover for the window with my clothes. This is not Lolita. Wearing no clothes in a car is not Lolita. But it's comfy because the sun is burning my skin. Sarah Jean really is getting more and more naked. Wait a second! <laughs> Okay, okay. I, Tell us about the red truck. This f***ing guy in this red truck, okay, who has like way too many wheels on his truck. But look, he's going, he's going around again. He got in front of me really aggressively and then was real slow for like a long time. And then I was like, f*** you, I'm gonna get in front of him for principles and show you who's boss. He just appeared out of nowhere, got in front of me. <laughs> that guy. World, you know, just, just give it a cursory googling or go to, I don't know, harmontown.com is not up yet, but. We're dressed again. We committed to being in our underwear for pretty much most of our drive home. But we got dressed because now we're back in LA and we're gonna get tacos to celebrate the end of our amazing trip. Yay! Burritos for everyone. And Burritos and tacos for everyone. And everyone's wearing clothes. Yay! Clothes for tacos and burritos. I miss being naked though. <laughs> Thank you.